<laughs> oh man, I tried. Oh, it did work. <laughs> this is my Selena tribute. I don't want to put on the baby. I might. Are my eyes all off? Ooh, makeup ideas. <laughs> See if it does it on the baby. Oh no, we just gonna keep it on me. Yeah. Yeah, we're at the park. Picasso. Picasso baby. Picasso baby. How you doing? Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna try to use this filter because I like it and because oh see it makes me look weird. My eyes are bump bouncing around. But I came on here separately. I might tell the same story. You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So I was um it's gonna pop in and out. That might get annoying. But I love it. Mm. Makeup ideas. So um I was reading the Bible. Doesn't matter what version, but I actually was reading the New King James version. I'm gonna take this filter off. It's gonna drive me nuts. It's going crazy. And um in uh Genesis like 920, it talks about after the flood that Noah was really stressed out in his family and they had a lot of anxiety. Um, well actually the Bible doesn't it does not picture that, but other other texts it does. Um, paint the picture that he was all stressed out right so um, so Noah became a farmer and he oh you got my pants Noah became a farmer and he made a vineyard and started and developed a drinking problem he started making wine and getting drunk off it um, and one day they say that one day um, Noah got real drunk and fell asleep naked and his brother or you know probably took off his garments to sleep and his his youngest son Ham he had three sons at the time and they were all married so his youngest son Ham went into Noah's tent while he was passed out drunk saw that he was naked and left that's what the Bible says but if you read other texts like the book of Jasher it goes into detail that Ham actually went in and took his clothes. Now, why does that matter? Well, if you go back into the text, it says that Adam and Eve, um, they were clothed with, God made them garments and sent them out of the garden, right? Well, God made those clothes. So what they, what they did is they passed them down from generation to generation. Those clothes were actually special. Those, they were not just regular garments. They probably had some sort of magical properties or what we would consider magic, which is just basically God, from God, okay? So these um, supernatural garments, I'll say that. Don't get all religious on me. Supernatural garments um, were passed down all the way to Noah. And now I said in my last video that Methuselah, his dad gave him the garments, but Methuselah is actually Noah's grandpa. Methuselah gave, uh, obtained the garments from his father Enoch, okay? Um, and then Methuselah gave them to his grandson, Noah. And Noah took them on the ark with him. So when Noah was making that, that vineyard, it was not just any vineyard. It was like as bomb as the Garden of Eden grapes. He was getting that good wine. That good, good. Okay, it wasn't just regular grapes. So, um, and I think, you know, to be honest, he probably just deserved to be able to indulge in that. Now, Noah was blessed. Noah was blessed. God said that God commanded that anything on that on the earth bows to him like bows to him. Like so no animals he he could lay in a field naked and no animals are going to attack him. God gave him that blessing. He said, nothing's going to attack you. Nobody's going to come against you for the rest of your life. So if he was laying out in the field naked, he knew that he could do that and nothing was going to bother him. Okay. He didn't have to be protected or worry about it. Um, further 
uh, insinuating that not only is Noah blessed, God will listen to whatever he wants to do because he did such a great thing. So Noah wakes up. Okay, so in the in the Bible it says, uh, Ham went in and saw his nakedness and came out and told his brothers and his brothers that go and cover him. Now, and then the story just kind of progresses and goes on, right? And it says Noah woke up and he saw what his... And he knew what his younger son had done, and he cursed him and the son. Because Ham had a younger, it sounds like maybe Ham had a younger, his one of his sons with him when he saw his dad in the tent naked. Well, if you go in Jasher and compare the that timeline, it says that Ham went into the tent and took the garments, took the Adam and Eve garments with you know, so he he showed up with his his youngest son, took took dad's garments, okay, and went out of the tent and told his brother, "Hey, you're gonna have to give dad some clothes because I'm taking these. I'm out." And so, and uh, it says that the brothers went in backwards, didn't even look at him, and and did that that was i think that was the brother's way of not getting involved period they didn't want no they knew that that was ultimately wrong like they knew that that wasn't going to end well so they decided they were not even going to look upon anything that happened they were just going to be uh, respectful give the dad some other clothes to wear and let the dad decide what he wants to do when he wakes up so fast forward the bible says when he sobered up um, he cursed Ham and Ham's son, which his name was Canaan. That's the name they put in the Bible, but his first son was Cush. But anyways, I guess Canaan was there. Or or maybe that was like his wife was pregnant. Ham's wife was probably pregnant, right? Who knows? But he cursed him and the baby. Um, now, uh, that, that, that all means, that all is significant. You know what I'm saying? It's all significant. So, uh, then you later find out that Ham's descendants ended up being really blessed. He had a son named uh, Cush and then Canaan. That's probably where that word Cush comes from. (laughs) I'll let your imagination run from there. And then there was Nimrod, who was also Ham's son, and he was a blessed hunter before the Lord. I wonder why he had those garments he ruled with those garments on and and they were they kept getting passed down so and I'm sure they guarded them they guarded them very well so that Noah couldn't get them back but Noah ended up passing away and those garments just went where they went passed down to who they got passed down to I haven't followed I haven't followed how far it went but um, you know if you fast forward in time you find out that all of Ham's descendants were in fact cursed because when the Israelites went to the their inheritance, Joshua led the, all the armies and destroyed all of the people that were actually Ham's descendants. Those were called the Canaanites, uh, the Hittites. That like all when you when you go through Joshua, you realize that all those tribes were descendants of Ham. Now, I haven't verified everyone, okay? You can if you want. But if you look at it, the names of Shem and Japheth, Japheth, their their, um, lineage was not taken over by Joshua when they went through, when, uh, when they went through to slaughter everybody. So they were cursed. They probably thought like, oh, you know, my, you know, Noah cursed us, but look at us. I'm a great hunter. I still got these garments, you know, we're rulers of this and everything. And, you know, even Ham was, was had Sodom and Gomorrah um, and that city was destroyed. And also Nineveh, actually Nineveh was saved, um, but they repented. It was a big deal, right? But they're about to be utterly destroyed. So it was like, so that's that's all significant um this baby is so good he's just sitting here but we ran around earlier 
I made him tired. He needed to sit down and do this. That was so good. Because I, I had a bad day yesterday. I was celebrating Shabbat with my family, honoring the Sabbath. And I just felt like things kept coming against me. Things kept, like, picking at me every time I went and, like, centered myself to find peace. Somebody would say something or I would, we went to the pool and this family, their kids kept jumping on us. Like this one little girl kept jumping on us, like physically jumping on us. And, and I look at her mom and she's just staring at us like, you want to make me come out my, my personality and, and cuss you and your baby out. Like how rude, you know, you can't say, Hey honey, you know, can you please not jump on them? You know, just no home training. And then there was another family out there. Their son was yelling and he may have some disabilities like um, that you can't see, but you there's still a level of respect. And he was yelling out. They weren't racial slurs exactly, but they were kind of on the verge, on the verge. Like he just needed to kind of lower his voice and chill. And they just, they just let him do it. And, um, and, you know, and then my son would say things that you know he just didn't need to say to provoke me a little bit you know how kids just pick at you um and then you gotta let them know (laughs) so to come from that day to this day is a blessing um i do not i have not attended church service but i'm probably gonna watch it online later but um I hope everybody, buddy, every 